At first glance, our solar system seems like a calm and orderly place. Occasionally, the gas giants may disturb the path of a comet or asteroid, sometimes even sending it toward Earth. However, for the most part, everything here follows a steady pattern. But let's not forget that the Milky Way, our galaxy, contains between 200 and 400 billion stars, with our solar system constantly moving through it. Even though the distances between stars are vast, there's always a chance that one star could eventually get closer to another. About 75% of the stars in our galaxy are red dwarfs, which are small stars with masses ranging from 8% to 40% of the sun's mass. The Milky Way itself is enormous, spanning roughly 100,000 light years across. At its center, there's a bulge that extends 5,000 to 8,000 light years in radius. Scientists analyze factors like star density, their orbits, and speed when calculating how often a star might come close to our sun. On average, stars travel at around 20 kilometers relative to the sun. Using this data, we can estimate how frequently stars pass near our solar system, potentially influencing our cosmic neighborhood. Studies have shown that the closest approach of a star to the sun occurred at a distance of 500 astronomical units, which is 10 times the distance between the sun and Pluto. Such close encounters are incredibly rare, happening once every few hundred thousand years. For a star to pass within 1,500 astronomical units is even rarer, occurring only once every billion years. So it's quite unlikely that a rogue star could disrupt the orbits of the planets in our system. However, while these close encounters might not directly affect planetary orbits, they could disturb the Oort cloud, a distant region filled with icy bodies that surrounds our solar system. Gravitational interactions between stars and the Oort cloud are ongoing, but the effects can take millions of years to be noticeable. Over time, passing stars could send these icy objects inward, increasing the chance of comets entering the inner solar system. The last known star to pass near the sun was Schultz's star, which came close about 70,000 years ago. However, recent research suggests another star might have passed even closer to Earth than the Voyager probes, and the New Horizons mission has made some incredible discoveries at the edge of our solar system. Did you know that our solar system might have had an extremely close encounter with another star. Recent studies suggest that such an event could explain the strange orbits of certain objects on the outskirts of our solar system and even some of the unusual moons orbiting the giant planets. According to the research, this encounter was so close that a star passed just on 110 astronomical units from the sun, which means it came 110 times farther than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. To put that into perspective, this star came closer to us than the Voyager 1 probe, which was launched in 1971 and is now about 164 astronomical units away. Given that the nearest star to us today, Proxima Centauri, is more than four light years away, this encounter was incredibly significant. Scientists believe such an event would be necessary to explain the chaotic orbits of some distant objects located far beyond Neptune's orbit. To investigate if the gravity of this passing star could have caused these unusual orbits, scientists conducted over 3,000 computer simulations. The results were astonishing. They found that this stellar encounter could explain the retrograde orbits of two peculiar trans-Neptunian objects, as well as the distant orbit of the dwarf planet Sedna, which orbits at a staggering 937 astronomical units from the Sun. Additionally, this close encounter might account for some of the strange moons in our solar system, like Saturn's moon Phoebe, which has a retrograde and distant orbit. 
Similarly, both Jupiter and Neptune have several irregular moons, which may have been displaced by the gravitational pull of this passing star. This cosmic event could represent a crucial piece of the solar system's history that we've only just begun to uncover. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this possibility? Share your opinion in the comments. Switching topics. Something extraordinary has been discovered in the far reaches of the solar system. NASA's New Horizons probe, launched in 2006, is one of the fastest spacecraft ever built, traveling at over 58,000 kilometers per hour. Its primary mission was to explore Pluto, a distant icy world more than 3 billion kilometers from the Sun. In 2015, New Horizons made its historic flyby of Pluto, revealing a landscape that seemed almost otherworldly, with towering ice mountains, vast plains of frozen nitrogen, and glaciers that looked like frozen rivers. But New Horizons didn't stop at Pluto. The spacecraft continued its journey into the Kuiper Belt, a vast region filled with icy bodies that extends beyond Neptune's orbit. This region, stretching over two billion kilometers, is like a frozen archive of the early solar system, packed with icy rocks, dwarf planets, and comets that have remained largely unchanged for billions of years. In 2019, New Horizons achieved the most distant flyby in history, passing by Arrokoth, a strange object shaped like a flattened snowman. This body, formed by the gentle merger of two smaller objects, gave scientists an unprecedented glimpse into the building blocks of planets. Today, New Horizons is over five billion kilometers away from Earth, still sending data back. Its latest discovery, made at 60 astronomical units from the Sun, has revealed something completely unexpected in the farthest reaches of our solar system. With the mission still ongoing, scientists back on Earth continue to monitor the Kuiper Belt and its mysteries. Who knows what more we might discover as New Horizons ventures deeper into the outer edges of the solar system. The journey is far from over. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating stories about the mysteries of the universe. See you next time.